What's up, guys? Ryan Dennis here with The A-Scene, your premier source for all things entertainment right here in Atlanta. And today, we're going to Hollywood for the second season of the Black Lady Sketch Comedy Show on HBO. Now, I am very honored because we're talking to a new addition to the cast this season, Miss Sky Townsend. Nice to meet you, Sky. It is so nice to meet you. You got the energy going. I like your intro. <laughs> when I say I am so happy to talk to you, I am. I have been following you on social media for so many years. So it's, it's an honor. Thank you. That makes me really excited. I'm, I'm ready to get into it. Yes. So did you ever imagine you'll be joining a platform like the Black Lady Sketch Comedy Show? Because it's never been done before and you're in your second season. Yeah, I, you know, growing up, I dreamed of joining SNL or I was devastated that I was too young for living color. I'm like, good job, dad. Uh, good job, mom. I was too young. But um, there was this platform didn't exist. But what I will say is this was the best platform to join because we get creative control with our characters, which every other show you're told, you know, this is the character. This is what to deliver on this show. They said, if you have an idea, bring it to us. And so for me to be able to mold these characters from scratch, oh, let's play ball. It's different. It's incredible to watch because we virtually have seen you do this on social media for so many years. Yeah, yeah, so, it's crazy. So how did you get involved with the show? Did you have to audition? Yes, yes, so I had to audition. And the biggest thing with doing self-tape auditions is you want to creatively shine. You want them to see your tape and not stop watching it. You don't want to be 20 seconds and be like, get her out of here. So I prepared, I did my hair, my makeup, I did my setup, and I really just gave it all. I wanted to show them how bad I wanted to be there and how bad I wanted the job. And then a day later, I met with the creator and the star of the show, Robin Thede, and casting. And we all were in a room. I did improv with Robin to show her I could hang. And uh, a few days later, I got the call that I booked the show. So it was incredible. Speaking of Robin Thede, she is just a genius. What is it like working with her one-on-one -on, -one on this platform? You know, Robin always encourages us to go our hardest. And I really appreciate that because some people are worried about them doing their best and then they're like, keep up. But Robin's like, listen, I see you're tired. I know it's late, but right now the, the being tired is temporary. Keep it pushing because you're gonna really wanna be proud of this work. And I kept that in the back of my head the whole time filming when I was tired. I'm tired now, but I don't, I'm not gonna be tired when I watch this. So uh, Robin would always say, I know you can take it further. I know you can go harder. I know you're not giving your all. And that kept us on our toes. Absolutely. And this time is so unpredictable. Sets are so different than how they typically would be because of the pandemic. What yeah. was it like working on the show for the very first time during a pandemic? Oh my goodness. I, so I went into a full lockdown. I ate healthy. Um, I didn't have any liquor. I didn't want anything in my system. Um, I didn't see friends, family, not even from outside my window. I fully locked down for the two months because I wanted to only focus on the work, but showing up to set was it's intense, right? Because you're, you're showing up and you better be negative or this whole thing is shutting down because you need to be on camera. So, <laughs> you know, you show up, I, I cut on my gospel as I wait for my results. I'm like, Jesus, I've been good. And then they clear you, you get a knock. <laughs> You're good to go, head to makeup. You put on your mask, you head to makeup and then you exhale that you get to start the day. But the pressure of, of maintaining your health is really, it's a lot because you don't want to mess anything up. I love it. Now, what I love about the show there has never been a show developed and portrayed by Black women doing sketch comedy. You know, what has been some of your favorite moments? I know you can't give too much away, but what was your favorite moments creating these characters and bringing them to life? Oh, my favorite moments were discovering how much my body and my face could do. Uh, I, I didn't realize how much my face would change if I squinted my eyes and, you know, made my mouth tight or made my mouth big and, you know, did bigger eyes. Like I said, oh my God, our bodies are incredible. Look at what we can do, y'all. So, so for me, creating the actual characters and pulling bits of my family and going, you're going to love this character because watch, she talks just like you and you're mad. Watch, she moves her head just like you. And so so pulling bits and, and pieces from my loved ones was so much fun because they all are in the show. All now, for those that don't know, your father is the legendary Mr. Robert Townsend. Now, he's had his own history of doing amazing work. Did he give you any prep for this? 
He's my father, allegedly. We've never confirmed this publicly. I want to see the papers because we're not that civil, okay? I'm like, they say you're my daddy, but um, no, to prepare for this, he just said, he said, Sky Townsend, I know what you can do. Now it's time to show them what you can do. You better kill this, you know? And I told him, I don't want you involved in the creative process because then it becomes your ideas and not mine, but I will give you a little dose of what I'm working on. Uh, but every day he's like, can you call me? Can you FaceTime me? How was your lunch? Was it delicious? I'm like, yes, dad, I'm becoming a rising star. Can we chat later? Uh <laughs> But no, he is just, he is over the moon. My dad and I are the best of friends and he's just so proud that I've earned it. And he's so proud that despite the name that people are seeing, that when people think of Townsend, we want them to go, that makes sense instead of that's how she got the job. And so for him to see that I'm getting my flowers for working hard and people going, you earn this, he's over the moon because he goes, I didn't want my name to make it difficult for you. I wanted it to be a beautiful aha moment, right? So now it's like, it's just coming together and it makes sense versus people going, she not that good. Her daddy made her get that job. We didn't want that. <laughs> when I say you have been making me belly laugh for years on social media, you definitely earned it. I will say your Beyonce impression is unmatched. Is there any chance that your Beyonce impression is going to come out this season? You know, on this show, what's really awesome is we create all new people. So on this one, you know, I, I don't really do impressions as much as I do creating people from the ground up, but I think people are going to be shocked by the characters that I'm playing. The voices, the way they walk, the way they look. I, it gets so crazy. You probably won't recognize it's me like until 45 seconds in when you're like, where's Sky? <laughs> wow. Now, what was the you know, doing something like this, I know you've always dreamed of this moment of being in your own series. What did you learn about yourself during the two months of filming? Give me a warning next time. <laughs> yeah, come correct. What did I learn about myself? Uh, I discussed this a little bit in a different interview that when I got the news, I had to celebrate it by myself and uh, no one was answering the phone. And so it was a big lesson to celebrate by yourself. But even beyond that, um, I was so used to being in a relationship for so many years and being able to share my day with somebody. So now finally getting to a point where I've always dreamed of being and having to go home, isolate and just prepare for the next day. It was really powerful to be like, this still counts. This is still good. You can share the stories eventually, but this isn't any less sweet. It doesn't feel any less good because you're doing this by yourself. And so um, receiving the flowers and everyone saying we're rooting for you, it feels like I have a huge family that I've never met who's seen me hustle for so many years. But I learned that um, I have really, really wonderful discipline when I apply it. Because I always told myself I had no discipline. Oh, I eat whatever I want. I have no discipline. I do whatever I want. This show required me for 40 days to lock in in a way that I've never locked in in my life. And I bet we are going to be locked in on our screens and watching you for many, many years to come. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I can't wait to watch the second season of the HBO's Black Lady Sketch Comedy Show. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ryan.